Hi everyone! Today we are going to be reading one of our absolute favorite books, The Very Hungry Caterpillar by Eric Carle. Let's begin. Front, back, spine. In the light of the moon, a little egg right there lay on a leaf. One Sunday morning, the warm sun came up and pop! Out of the egg came a tiny and very hungry caterpillar. Did you guys know that caterpillars are herbivores? Herbo what? Herbivores? What's an herbivore? An herbivore is an animal that doesn't eat meat. It eats things that come from plants, like leaves, vegetables, and fruit. Hmm, interesting. He started to look for some food. On Monday, he ate through one apple, but he was still hungry. Hey guys, what color is this apple? That's right, it's red. On Tuesday, he ate through two pears, but he was still hungry. And these pears are the color green. And on Wednesday, he ate through three plums, but he was still hungry. What juicy plums. And as you can see, these are blue. On Thursday, he ate through four strawberries, my favorite, but he was still hungry. And that's right. These strawberries are red and green. On Friday, he ate through five oranges, but he was still hungry. Can you believe that? He was still hungry. And yes, you guessed it right. These oranges are the color orange. Mm -hmm. I just realized something so exciting. They just went over the first five days of the week. Days of the week, days of the week, days of the week. There's Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday! Yay! On Saturday, he ate through one piece of chocolate cake, one ice cream cone, one pickle, one slice of Swiss cheese, one slice of salami, one lollipop, one piece of cherry pie, one sausage, one cupcake, and one slice of watermelon. That night, he had a stomachache. His tummy hurt him. Well, my goodness, it's no wonder. Look at all the different types of foods he ate, all in one sitting, too. It's mm. no wonder he had a stomachache. The next day was Sunday again, and the caterpillar ate through one nice green leaf. And after that, he felt much better. Now, he wasn't hungry anymore. And he wasn't a little caterpillar anymore. He was a big, fat caterpillar. He built a small house called a cocoon around himself. That's right, a cocoon is a structure like a home that a caterpillar will go into. Guess what this cocoon is shaped like? Do you know what shape it is? That's right, it's an oval. Good job. He stayed inside for more than two weeks, then he nibbled a hole in the cocoon, pushed his way out, and he was a beautiful butterfly. Flutter, flutter. Did you guys know that this process in which a caterpillar goes from an egg to a caterpillar to building a cocoon around itself to then transforming into a butterfly is called metamorphosis. Ooh, that's a big word. Metamorphosis. 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 You got it. Ooh, I liked that book. That was a very good book. Well, what did this book teach us today and what did we learn about this very hungry caterpillar? We learned that one of nature's many, many marvels is that something very small 
can turn into something very different yet very beautiful. Thank you so much for joining us today. And if you'd like to be a part of our family, please subscribe below. Thank you.